Kind of drop straight down real quick, see? Especially with the slight rain that we had. No way! <laughs> What is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today we are getting out and about and if you can see behind me it is misting it is raining uh, so it's gonna be quite a challenging day but the weather is not gonna be our only challenge today because we are gonna be doing a mystery tackle box box slam attempt so before we get out there let's also go ahead and shout out to mystery tackle box because they're gonna be today's sponsor if you guys have not heard about mystery tackle box you need to take a look at them they are a great way to find out about new techniques new lures so many different brands uh, so many different cool things that they put in these boxes that's the reason why i've become comfortable with so many different types of techniques and lures and brands uh, because i've been using mystery tackle box for over the last two years and uh, i'm a really big fan of them so i'm going to go ahead and leave a link below for you guys so you can jump on over there save you guys ten dollars on your first subscription get it as low as ten dollars or you can save yourself ten dollars if you want to step it up get a pro or an elite or something like that so once again, thank you to Mr. Tackle Box for sponsoring the video. So let's get out there and get on some fish. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the box right here. I already got it popped open in front of me. First thing I see is this, uh, what is that, Livingston? Little deep diver I guess it's like a bluegill pattern. Uh, it has like an electronic little noise maker it says in it. Uh, basically once it hits the water, it kind of makes a, I guess, bait fish sound. So it's electronic bait fish sound, yeah, EBS. So that's pretty cool, pretty exciting. We'll try that out here in a bit. Uh, these ones are pretty cool. It's the Sneak Attack Soft Swim Jigs uh, by Dynamic. Is that what it says? Yeah, Dynamic Lures. They come with two little jig heads. I think that's really neat. You get a whole little pack. You can pretty much just take this whole thing with you in your pocket and you get out there on the water for the day. I really like that. Uh, you got some Guggen hammer hooks. Always good to have some hooks. It looks like we're going to need that for the soft plastics. Uh, we got the Carl's Amazing Little Creature Baits. And then we got some Cabin Creek Craws. We'll kind of take a look at that a little bit later. Uh, we got the Zinger Little uh, Spinner Bait. This is a 363 ounce. It'll be nice, especially around this time of the season when we have a lot more bait fish in the water and that's what the fish are kind of chasing. And then we got our jerk bait, which is gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna be testing out today because I just saw some fish kind of up against the wall right now when we got here. So I'm gonna tie this on real quick, start screwing around, see if we can't catch a fish. This is gonna be the Strike Pro jerk bait. So as you can see, it's got like a cuffed bill. It's kind of different than your average jerk bait, but it's got a nice flash to it. It's got a perfect size. It's got nice treble hooks. So let's get it tied on, get it out there. So we're gonna be tying this thing on to my medium heavy rod. It's a 651 gear ratio. So it's like a medium speed. It's gonna be a really good speed actually for twitching uh, crankbaits and stuff like that. So I'm gonna put it on this medium heavy rod. So it's got a nice little twitch to it. We got, I believe this is 15 pound fluoro on here. So that'll help it sink as well. So I'm gonna try to toss this along the wall and see if we can't get something to react from afar. This thing kind of floats a little bit. I was not expecting it to kind of stand up like that, but then again, I'm on a ledge, so that might be kind of the reason why it was like that. I'll try that out again. I'll try a little softer jerks. Oh yeah, if you do little soft twitches with this thing, it's really nice. Jerk baits, I kind of move them a little bit faster than most. Oh, oh, dude, something smoked that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He smoked that jerk bait. Oh my goodness. He was not having that. He just came up and said, nope. It's nice. Let's get a measure on the box see what that thing comes out to you we got a nice little 16 inch bass that is awesome we'll take a quick picture and he just came up and annihilated that he did not like 
the way that jerk bait was just swimming in his section. That was awesome. I was trying to say, look at that, that the way I use jerk baits is usually faster than other people, but I guess it's the perfect speed for this guy. Came up and smoked it. That is a really nice fish. Look at that. It's getting back in the water though. Nice. That was quick. I was not expecting to get that on our second cast. We just might be able to pull up this box lamb regardless of this weather. It looks like the sun is actually coming out a little bit. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Working in our favor. All right, so now we got that. I'm gonna go with the spoons just because they actually hit that moving bait like that. I was not expecting it. So let's try out the zinger. Let's see if we can get ourselves one on the zinger. I don't think I've ever caught a bass on a big spin bait set up like this. Cause I usually just don't fish them. So we'll find out if I should start fishing them right here. This is what I'm talking about when I say you learn so many new techniques and lures with these boxes. Cause like I said, I've never fished spinner baits. I never catch, I've never caught a fish on spinner bait, but today we are going to try it out. I'm gonna tie something else on the finesse pole. Do this little sneak attack lure and see if that can't mimic some of these tiny little bluegill looking bait fish that are here in the water. And like I said, I really like how it just comes in one solid little pack like that. Like that is really, really neat. Can't beat that. Let's get it tied on and get going. All right, guys, let's go ahead. See if we can't get something going on this damn sneak attack bait. It's a little guy, so I mean, I never said we can only catch bass. If we can get a bluegill on this thing, we might just be able to uh, break even on this lure at least. Oh, 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 no way, no way. First cast, first cast, what? What? <laughs> First cast, we get this little guy. No freaking way, this is like a bigger bass than the last spot. Look at that. First cast, got that guy. He is as cold as can be. I literally thought I was snagged on a rock. I can't believe we just got this guy. That is so awesome, I'm so excited. So that's two lures. I'm gonna actually probably put on the crawl and uh, the other little stuff on this little jig head and just keep fishing it like that. That is insane, I was not expecting to get a bass on the first little toss over there. I'm super, super excited, like I'm beyond excited. That means that we just might be able to beat our uh, day because it has been a pretty bad day of fishing, honestly. I've been out here for about three hours and haven't had much luck, but, but the one. Uh, so we're gonna try a little Cabin Creek crawl on this little same little jig head just because I already have it rigged on and it should work just as well as you can see it'll help create those little flappy motion and uh, they got little balls on the arm so that's pretty cool kind of create some knocking as well right there when it's moving in the water so we'll try that out hopefully we can score one and uh, keep it going all right next spot boat at your own risk they want you to bring a boat in here straight out over here by this loggy trying to drop straight down real quick see especially with the slight rain that we had no way dude that's like a four oh broke me up Oh, like broke four. me off. Oh. oh, no, 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 took it. Dude, that was like a four. Dude. That was big and... Oh, my God. I was like, nah, I'm stuck on something. I'm stuck on something. It can't be a bass. That Dude, was that was huge. a huge bass. I, I thought, just lost. I thought you were stuck on something, too. Insane. <sighs> oh, I think I got hit again. Literally a... I swear. Look, look, look at my line moving. Go, 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 go. Got him. <laughs> that was insane. That's back-to-back -back fish I just lost. Oh, my God. That's... Oh man, that's so upsetting. Oh. We're here, we're here. You were good on that. I just, I think I put too much pressure Maybe into it. too much. Yeah. I think too much. But, but who's to say? I don't know how. Man. I don't know how. 
know. Well, we know they'll bite yeah. this. Yep. Does that count as two fish? <laughs> That could make or break our day as far as uh, the box slam goes, but we'll keep trying this guy out. That's smart. Right there. That's that's my thing is like we just had a rain. I'm going to get under there with you and try not to snag you. All right. All right, tree. All right. Dude, that's better bait. That's the one, Ryan. That's him. Dude, third time's the charm. <laughs> hey, how, how, how big is the eater? Uh, it's just straight right. It's, okay, so you're good. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're good. You're bold. You got him. Oh, yes, oh, dude. oh. <laughs> look how fat oh, this bass gosh, is. Dude, look how fat this bass is. I cannot believe this guy's checked out this chunky belly on this fish. He's probably got to weigh like two to three pounds easily. And look how small his mouth is. Tiny little mouth. Chunky belly. Chunky solid fish. Man, I cannot believe we got it on the dangle on the end. That is, so that is something else. Winter fatty. Dude, fatty. Cool. fat, fat, fat. All right, let's get this guy back in the water nice and easy so we don't scare any of these other fish that might be hidden underneath here. See you later, chunks. Oh man, that was insane. So the last little soft plastic we have in here is gonna be the Carl's little creature bait. So we'll try one of these out real quick. And then it's gonna be the crank and the zinger. I'm gonna leave this hook on to save some time. But we are gonna put this little creature bait on just like that and try to do the same thing. I'm gonna get right back in that little drainage, man. Who knows? I had some good luck. All right, everybody, so before we end today's video, I just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all about a little give back that I'm gonna be doing on my YouTube channel. So as a way to say thank you to everyone for all the support that I've received across the year on multiple platforms, uh, both on YouTube and Instagram, I just wanted to go ahead and give back to you guys. I'm gonna be giving away a few mystery tackle boxes and I want you guys to help me pick the winners. So I'm gonna need the help from you guys by jumping into my comments, letting me know someone that you think deserves something nice this season. It has been one heck of a year. I know a lot of people have been through a lot of ups and downs and I just wanna go ahead and give back to you guys. So that is why we're gonna be giving away one mystery tackle box for every 50 likes that we get on this video. That is right. So if we get you know 500 likes, we're gonna be giving away 10 mystery tackle boxes. So that is why I'm asking you guys to like this video, uh, let me know in the comments someone that you think deserves it, even if it is yourself, and share, share, share this video. The more people that like this video, the more people that see the video, the more mystery tackle boxes that we're going to be giving away, and hopefully giving them to people in need because it has been one heck of a year. This is going to be going on until the first of the year, so on New Year's Day, uh, towards the middle of the day, towards the evening of the day, I will be picking winners, uh, going through my comments, and randomly selecting winners, like I said, based off the information that you guys provided. Uh, so with that being said, good luck to everybody. Everybody. Make sure you share this, like the video, comment, all that good stuff. Let's get this thing going and give back to everybody as a big thank you to everybody that has supported me throughout this year. But that is going to be it for today. So if you did enjoy the video, if you do want to help me get this thing going, leave me that thumbs up. Make sure you share it. Uh, make sure you get those comments going. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that way you do get alerted if you are the winner. We're going to be putting that in my comment section, uh, not actually in the video, but you'll see uh, on my page. It'll announce a comment when I actually do announce the winner. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully we get you guys some nice mystery tackle boxes. And thank you, everybody, for the support that we've received this year. That is going to be it for today.